we're just about to put the mast up with a homemade gin pole. I've got my helper. You might recognise him from the uh, trailer sailor across the North Sea we did last July. Yeah, he's not he's not calling Huey today. So we're just setting up the gin pole and there's basically a winch on a two-piece pole and it's got essentially shrouds and a forestay that will hold it upright. Right, so I'm going to attach the shrouds to the pole. Just lean the pole forwards. That one on there. Same the other side. That's it. And then we've got a forestay here, which goes through the bell roller and back to the cleat. <laughs> and that'll hold the pole upright. Right, so we've got the four stage nicely tensioned and around this plate. So we've got the pole upright and that is sitting in a, what I call a, a wooden slipper. So it's just got a hole in there and that sits nicely between the hatch and the mast step. And what that means is I didn't have to fix anything to the deck. So once this is all done, I can just take the slipper away. And as you can see, that's not going anywhere. So I've got this clip here, which goes to the top of the pole, down to the winch. And I've literally just got a loop of Dyneema. It just wraps around. Could have done pull a bit more out. Just clips onto there and that will cinch up and we've also got a halyard to stop this loop from sliding down to the base of the mast when we're hoisting the mast out. So the next thing to do is start winching and pull the mast up and it is a two-person job with this system so uh, Matt will be the one doing the winching and I'll steady the mast and stop it from going side to side. Right so as we winch the mast up Matt is going to have to manoeuvre the forestay so it doesn't bend and line it up with the where it attaches on the bow. So let's do this. Tip. Get the pin. What I could have done with being uh, a little bit more prepared as uh, I'd left the pin for the four stay in the truck so I had to jump down. But the mast is up and it's on the gin pole. As you can see it went up really quickly so all that's left to do is put the lower shrouds on, attach those and tension it up and pack the pole away. So Matt's going to unclip the gin pole from the strop around the mast. There we go, and then we'll undo it. Undo the four stay section. Right, do you want to pull all, all this through? Disconnect those from the, the U bolts. Just push the pole aft. A bit more. There we go. Right, steady the pole, and then we'll just do the other side. And then, if you 
lift those two pieces off Matt and pass them down. Okay, that's one piece. Two pieces. And last but not least, oh, here's the slipper. This was a last minute thought when I bought some fittings that I was going to fix to the deck but then bailed on the idea but that seems to work right so last thing to do is tidy up the, the ropes for the pole And that will then go underneath the one of the side bunks in the boat, ready for next time at the handle off as well. There we go. So essentially, I've got this pole and another pole with an insert or a smaller diameter pole, which slotted inside, and then I bolted through it all. Uh, to be able to bolt the winch on and then so that bit just slots on there and I bought these little plugs caps to go on the bottom it has got a thread in there because originally I was going to have it so it had like a like a bearing um, kind of eye bolt coming out the end there but because I started using the slipper that works really well and for the top I've literally just got stainless steel threaded eye bolts. Um, one's threaded through and then the eye bolt was used as a nut and the same that way. And I've spliced, well we've got a lux head on these at the top there and the lower ends have got a Dyneema um, Grummel splice with a stainless steel sort of carabiner type thing on there. And it took me a little while to fine tune the length so it works properly, but I think it's a pretty good system. I can't remember the price of the winch, that might have been about £40, and the pole cost me £20. And this line is winch rope, which you can buy on eBay. It claims it's SK78 Dyneema, it's pretty strong, um, but I think it was about probably about £18 for. 10 meters of it which I thought was actually a decent price for what it is and that served a really good purpose so far so it's perfect for me ideal so all that's left to do now is run all the rigging lines through where they're going to be and uh, get the lower shrouds on have a little tension up and uh, then I can start putting all my new cleats on <laughs> 